Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to speed up your dodge and burning workflow using our newest action, the Ultimate Dodge and Burn. So this is where we're going to start, and this is after the action. So before and after. The first thing I'm going to do is delete this so we can have a fresh start. And a little bit about the edit already as I use the Storyville Rose Gold presets, the smoothing and sharpening action, and retouch on this. So what you're going to want to do is go into your action panel, click on the ultimate dodge and burn, make sure the first line is selected, and hit play. And then it's going to tell you to grab a soft white brush at 100% opacity. And then you can click on this little arrow to open up the action. And I like to start from the bottom up. So we're going to start dodging and burning her clothes first. So I'm going to click on this black layer mask with my soft white brush at 100% opacity. And I'm going to just zoom in. I have it toned down a little bit. Um, and I can already tell I'm going to want to increase the opacity here. So I'm just going to turn this up to where my eye likes it. And we can always go back and adjust later. But for now, that's a good start. I like what I see. And I'm going to try and do this as fast as I can. But if you were doing this for a client or going to print, I would take your time and kind of zoom in and really, um, you know, make sure there's no like haloing or running over on different areas. But for this, I'm just going to give it a quick go. Okay, and that looks good. Um, I always like to start with the combo for the clothing. It burns and um, dodges at the same time. So it's really, really great. Um, there's the before and after, and you could crank it all the way up, but I'm going to take it down to about 70. And then I'm gonna hit the extra dodge. These are optional guys, or you could just choose to dodge or burn. Um, you don't have to necessarily follow exactly what I do, but this is just kind of my workflow. And then I'll come in and hit some of the highlighted areas with the dodge, brighten them up a little bit. On her top of her dress there. And then sometimes you're going to be like, ooh, I really like the dodge on parts of it, but it's just too much on others. Um, for that, I like to lower the opacity and grab a black brush and kind of run over where it's too dodged. And you, of course, you can also play with the opacity. This is just what I do. And that looks good. I kind of like um, the shine that the dodge can give when you really almost blow it out, actually. Uh, so I like to leave it on some of the area. And then I'm going to go with the soft black brush or white brush at 100% opacity on the extra burn. And just burn it a little bit. Oh, and if we wanted, her shoes are kind of hidden, so I'm not really too concerned about it. But I'm going to go back into the dodge and burn combo and just kind of hit her shoes real quick. And for now, I think that that looks good. Um, again, we can always go back and tweak things if we want, but I think that looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna leave it as that. I'm gonna close up the dodge and burn clothing. And this is the before and after. Such a huge difference. Her clothes kind of take on this like glowy shine that I just love so much. The next thing I'm gonna do is open up the dodge and burn skin and hair. And I am going to click on dodge number one. Um, I have this set up to where you can do the dodge a couple of different times and the burn. Some people will just want, you know, just need to use the one layer. You don't necessarily need to use two. I just like to be efficient in that way. So I'm going to grab the soft white brush, 100% opacity, and I'm just going to paint it on her whole face, her hands, and then her legs down here peeking through. And that looks pretty good. Run it over her hair. I am going to turn this down a little bit. I like to start at zero and just kind of work my way up. And about 73 looks good to me. 
I'm going to take a soft black brush at about 33% opacity and just kind of hit a little bit where it came on too much that I don't like. There. Then I'm going to hit the burn number one, soft white brush, 100% opacity. And I'm just going to come in here and kind of go over the shadows a little bit. You can do um, lips, you know, the eyebrows, whatever you want. For this, you don't, I don't really need to do much burning on her face. Let me turn that down. That looks good to me. So this is the before and the after. And I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to move on to the environment. This you can use on all of your image. You can choose to just hit certain parts. Um, it's really up to you what you choose to do. How many times do I say choose, guys? <laughs> but it is your choice. So 100% opacity, soft white brush. And you can either really just kind of hone in on individual leaves or areas if you like to really keep it contrasty. Or since you're dodging and burning at the same time on this layer, I honestly just go over as much as I would like. Um, and then I go back with a soft black brush and take away some of it if it's too intense. I hope this makes sense, guys. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of really blown out here, a little too dark there, a little too vibrant on the bottom there. I am going to take the soft black brush at about 34% opacity and kind of just go over those areas that I've dodged and burned too much with that layer. And that looks good to me. Um, I also added this desaturate because sometimes when you're doing intense dodge and burning like this, your clothes in the environment can take on different tones. I like when it does that, um, but if you don't, if it's like too much, take your soft white brush and you can do it at whatever opacity you want. Um, I usually start at 100% and say I don't want her um, sweater like dyed that much, that, that much orange or whatever. I'll just go over that and then I'll increase it to where I like. Same with the flowers guys or any of it. You can just kind of desaturate. But for me, I'm going to keep it as is because I like it that way. And I think we're done now. Um, I'm going to close this all up. So this is the before and this is the after with the ultimate dodge and burn action. Before and after. You can find this in the Storyville shop on the website at www.storyvillephotography.com. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Bye.